All right, guys, Rob Anderson, Clean Power Wash. I'm over here with Jacob with what's the company again? Eagle Eye Power Wash. Eagle Eye Power Washing. You guys are always asking about plumbing and everything, and you know, this is a fairly straightforward and simple rig. Uh, but I, I really want to focus on the plumbing here. So he's got his two inch bulkhead coming out here from the tank. Got a nice ball valve here so he can shut it off. Huge filter. And then reduce down to inch and a half. And then from inch and a half, he goes down. He's got his reducer um, bushing fitting here. Goes to the hose barb and then right in. This is simple, guys. He's getting massive flow. This is a five and a half gallon a minute machine. But this is supplying, I would guarantee you, almost 10 to 15 gallons a minute through there. We could even do a bucket test to show you how much flow is coming through here. Um, the other nice thing on this, we are talking about just as far as winterizing it. All he has to do is shut this ball valve here, open that, open the dump valve so it drains all the way out there, and then that'll get the water out of here. And then we're going to put a, a elbow on this other side with the garden hose fitting so it'll go uh, to, from three-quarter, just 90 brass thing, this doesn't matter. And then we'll go from three-quarter male thread to three-quarter male garden, and then you just put a female garden cap on top of it, um, and just we'll angle it one way or another, probably angle it out here. Dump the antifreeze in through there. This will get quick coupled so he can just take that off. You don't have to worry about water being trapped in there. Because when you actually start running the antifreeze through it, you know, you want to see a little bit of pink on this side um, or whatever color there. And then even if it's just coming shooting some, some pink out of there, that way he knows he's good to go. He can blow that air hose out with a air com or blow the pressure hose out with an air compressor if he wants to do that. Um, and then he's got his two hose reels. But Again, the big thing on this is the plumbing. Keep your plumbing as big as possible. He's not doing a straight T. This is a 90, so the water is able to turn this way versus sometimes when we'll see a T here, the water is just bashing into here and not getting good directional flow on it. So, just a cool little setup. Uh, guys, this this is something that, yeah, and just build up and get on a nice little pallet. It does have the wood there, so it's not gonna slide around. I would need a forklift for it, but Guys, I mean, this this is a very buildable rig. Gets done what you need to. Then he's got his bypass, and then he's got his plumbing for his fill line there. So, pretty cool setup, guys. Um, yeah, like it.